Hello, this is Mark Sadler of Best CAD Tips. For today's tip, we're going to look at Revit, and we're going to look at how to dock the Properties dialog box and the Project Browser dialog box, and how to fix some issues that have popped up in uh, version 2014. Now, as you see, the traditional way of docking these is to have them in a stack with the Properties dialog box on top over at the left side of the screen and the Project Browser uh, on the bottom left side of the screen. Now, when these are docked, they do not cover up part of the work area. For this, uh, this exercise, we're going to um, first make sure that the Revit window is maximized. Uh, we want to make sure that that's maximized because it can be very hard to dock these boxes here if it's smaller than the screen is. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab this properties dialog box by the gray bar at the top and we're going to move it from its location here over to the work area. In other words, it's going to be undocked in the work area. Then we're going to do the same thing with this project browser. Just click and drag in that blue-gray bar at the top of the uh, box and grab it and drop it. You can't always see the outline. Sometimes if you go real slow, you can sort of get a gray line outline on the screen. At least on my computer, it's not very consistent as far as being able to see a preview of where it's going. And by the way, if you don't see these two dialog boxes, you can always go to the View tab, User Interface panel, and make sure that the uh, Project Browser and the Properties options are checked. If they don't have a check mark, they will not show up on the screen. So make sure that those are checked. And now we will explore the first option, which is to get these boxes back into the original position. And uh, this can be kind of challenging. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink the boxes as much as I can. You can grab the bottom edge of these and pull them up. So I'm going to shrink the boxes and get them just as small as I can. Same thing with the right side. Well, I don't want to shrink it too small, but um, you know, get, get them down to where they're pretty compact. Then uh, we're going to take the one that goes up at the top, which is properties. Again, grab it by that gray bar. Uh, and I'm going to drag that over to the left side and bump it into the left side of the screen, maybe twice. And I should get, if I bump it over here enough times, I should get a sort of a preview. Okay, there it goes. If you bump it a couple of times into the side of the screen, you can you know, usually count on it docking in a vertical mode. Now, in version 14, a new problem has cropped up, which is that sometimes it docks in a horizontal mode like this. And it can be very puzzling and frustrating uh, to try to get it back the way it was. So the first step, if you see this in horizontal mode, is to grab it by the gray bar, which now goes all the way, it's a blue-gray bar, um, goes all the way across the screen. Just grab it and pull it down into the work area. And uh, from there, you can try to dock it on the left side of the screen. And again, I'm going to bump it twice. And there, see the preview? There's a couple of gray lines indicating where it's going to go. And then you just release it, and it docks against the left side. Now we will move the Project Browser dialog box to dock underneath the properties in the uh, traditional way. So that is uh, a little challenging. We're going to grab it by the blue-gray bar and move it down, and you'll see a, a gray preview. And unfortunately, sometimes this leaves little leftover lines on the screen, and it can be very confusing. Now let's just clean that up by putting it back into the work area. I'm going to go again, and I'm going to dock this about inch or an inch and a half away from the nope, build the whole bottom. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dock it. I'm going to bump it about an inch and a half away. From, see, there's the preview on the bottom of the screen, about an inch and a half away from the bottom left corner and release. 
and it's going to dock below the properties box. Now I may have to shrink the properties box by hovering over this line and shrinking it up to here. It can be very difficult to find that special place that you have to bump it, but on my computer it has generally been about an inch and a half from the left bottom corner of the screen. And when I say bump it, I'm talking about taking it with your pointer, dragging it, and bumping the place where the pointer is visible on the screen. Now there's another way, a new way, that has just been introduced in 2014, which is to overlay the two dialog boxes and have a pair of tabs that allow you to choose one or the other. So let's try to do that. First I'm going to pull this back out into the work area, the project browser. I'm going to make it a little bit taller now. And I'm going to grab it and hover over this other box. And it's, if I keep trying, usually it will give me a preview of where it's going to go just by the gray lines. Okay, there it went. Now there are two tabs down at the bottom. One is Properties and one is Project Browser. So uh, this is a feature that has been added with 2014 and it has its advantages. It's very different from the way that we've been done it before where both boxes are visible all the time. The main benefit is that you have a lot more uh, you know, rows of the box that you can see at one time. Of course the disadvantage is that you have to keep clicking back and forth between the two of them. But that's another way to dock these boxes on the side which is new to version 2014. Another way to, to do them is to put them on the other monitor. If you have a double monitor system, you can grab the box, pull it into the work area. Now here, when you move it, it's still overlaid with tabs at the bottom. The way that you break it apart is to grab this project browser tab, pull it off to the side, and then you have two separate boxes which you can put on your second monitor. I'm just going to move them off of this screen over onto my other screen. You know, again, this may take some getting used to, but uh, it does allow you to have a lot of real estate on your main screen uh, given to the, uh, the work area. And when you need to do something on the uh, project browser or properties, you simply go to the other screen. So that's the quick study in how to dock the project browser and the properties dialog boxes in Revit. Hope that helps. Come back again to see the next tip. This is Mark Sadler of Best CAD Tips. Keep on catting.